Day evening. Uh, I guess we can call it the eve of Christmas Eve. Temperatures out there really mild. 60 degrees here in Bryan College Station. 63 in Brenham. Still dealing with a northeasterly wind. Those are going to flip around to the southeast as we head into tomorrow. Nothing showing up on satellite and radar across the Brazos Valley. And there's a good reason for that. We have an upper level ridge starting to build its way into southern parts of Texas. And under these upper level ridges, not only does it allow the temperatures to really start increasing, you typically don't see much in the way of precipitation. Now we are monitoring an upper level low that is across the Baja of California. Also the storm system that gave us some rain just a few days ago working its way across parts of the southeast. You can see that upper level low spinning across parts of southern Georgia as well as northern parts of Florida. Now we're going to notice this storm system across the southwest work its way towards the northeast heading into midweek going to shear out, but that's going to help this upper level trough to start to slowly work its way into western Texas by midweek. Now we're still going to be under this upper level ridge here in the Brazos Valley, so that means it's going to be pretty warm and dry for Christmas, but we're going to eventually see this trough edge its way east as we head into latter parts of the week as a storm system digs out of the Pacific into the south and the west, and that's going to cause some impacts to our weather, some changes to our weather as we head into latter parts of the week into the weekend. This storm system going to lift out into into the southern plains and that's going to drag a cold front into the Brazos Valley as we head into Saturday, and that's going to increase the shower and storm chances uh, as we head into the weekend, and we need any rain we can get still dealing with those abnormally dry conditions. Now, taking a look at future radar, not expecting any rain as we head into the overnight hours or tomorrow morning. It is going to be on the cool side. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 30s, lower 40s tomorrow morning. Could be a little bit of fog across our southwestern county. So just keep that in mind. Temperatures quickly going to warm up Tuesday afternoon, though, as those winds flip around to the southeast as that storm system out west starts to lift northeast. It kind of acts like a vacuum to pull in those southeasterly winds here uh, in the Brazos Valley. Now, if you're going to be traveling over the next couple of days, expect some impacts, especially out west. Now, looking like the airport's going to be pretty good in Dallas as well as Houston, Austin as we head into tomorrow morning. But if you're going to fly out to Las Vegas or Phoenix looking like they're going to be some pretty heavy travel delays out there as a storm system starts to work out of New Mexico. So just keep that in mind. Could be some delays also in Atlanta, not only because of the volume of traffic at that airport, but still dealing with that upper level storm system. They're going to cause some winds as well as an increase in cloud cover. Now heading into Christmas afternoon, some people trying to save money on those flights. You're going to fly five or six in the afternoon on Christmas Day. I've done that before. Unfortunately, going to be pretty nasty travel conditions across the entire west, pretty much along and west of your Rocky Mountains. We're going to see some impacts from a large storm system there. So if you're going to fly into San Francisco, Vegas, LA, uh, Seattle or Phoenix, looking like some pretty significant delays. So just keep that in mind. Our airports here in Texas, though, looking like they're going to be a OK. So if you're going to fly up to Chicago or St. Louis, even up into LaGuardia, looks like that there will no there will be no travel issues there. Temperatures really going to warm up over the next couple of days. Our average high is 62 degrees. We're going to be above average not only tomorrow, but we're going to be above average heading into Christmas as well as that day after Christmas and Friday. Then we start to see those temperatures come down, though, as we head into the weekend as that cold front works its way in. So let's take a look at that Christmas forecast in a little more detail. I named the stockings after me, my dog, my sister and her dog. I love dogs. 73 degrees, sunny and yeah, going to be a beautiful uh, Christmas. Unfortunately, not going to be a white one out there this year. As someone who grew up in the Northeast, I, I can't get into Christmas when it's 75 degrees outside. It just it's hard to believe it's Christmas. Yeah, when I, I came into work in a t-shirt and shorts. Yeah, like I've been telling Gabriella, it's like it's like Christmas in Australia. It's going to be yeah. it doesn't feel like Christmas out there. 73 degrees over 10 degrees above average. Kids can still ask Santa for some gifts and some cool toys, though, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. doesn't matter how hot it is and we asked some kids at the mall to write us some letters and write Santa some letters, and I'm going to read one for you all right yeah. now. If I'm doing it right, Chris, you want to start with this one? Yeah, let's go with it. So, um, you know, Christmas just two days away. All those kiddos getting really excited. I'm excited. Mike's excited. Yes, sir. And uh, here's our first letter. So we have a letter from Corbin, and uh, it's going to warm your heart. Dear Santa, please bring my stepdad home from the Air Force. Signed, Cor uh, Corbin Madison. Wow. 
that's what the holidays are about, spending time with your family, your loved ones, your friends. Um, that's an awesome That is. Letter. I hope you and get I your hope wish, Corbin. Corbin yeah, I hope. Wish. Fingers crossed. And Everyone man, out there who has family serving yeah. overseas, like, I hope they get a chance to come back, see y'all, give them a hug, and have some hot chocolate and uh, some cookies. Yeah, I always love seeing those videos when Make uh, cry people get surprised, every time. like, every single time. I'm like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, where are the Kleenexes? Every time. It's not fair. Yeah. It's not fair. You know what else isn't fair? What? The Aggies only have one running back on scholarship playing in the Ooh. bowl game. How did that happen? We'll find out after the break. We'll hear from Jimbo on Cordarian Richardson's uh, no-show and more. That's